Hey there everyone, it is Georgie from GSD Solutions and in this video I want to talk about my experience by virtually participating in Zoomtopia 2023. So this is Zoom's annual conference where they highlight folks that are in their organization, they talk about new features that are coming out, they have an expo if you go in person, the expo is also online. So it's just a really fun interactive conference that talks all about Zoom, its solutions, its clients, and its tools. So of course, you know, I gotta be there. <laughs> and some stuff that I discovered at Zoomtopia 2023 that I had no idea about, so I'm gonna go ahead, look at my notes, I have a little list, is first up, um, Zoom chat support with AI. So let's start with the fact I had no idea that Zoom even had the chat bot. So if you go to the Zoom's website and you hit the support button, that tool was created by Zoom. So we have a support button on our own website and I've seen a bunch of them, right? So there's a bunch of different solutions that are chat supports, right? This is the normal way or the way we've decided is normal nowadays. When you are having an issue, you go to the website, you hit the chat box and then you talk with a representative. Oftentimes at first it's like, you know, the AI or the bot saying, you know, here use the knowledge base, here use this information. And if you cannot find a solution, then it will direct you to an agent. Well, Zoom created a whole Whole entire back-end system for their solution so let's talk about the first part so the first thing I want to highlight is the chat bot that exists so zoom has one and it's powered by AI so you'd be able to load up all your Q&A's or your information into your knowledge base and the AI will smartly suggest solutions to the person having a problem and try to troubleshoot it as fast as possible if the troubleshooting is not working or they cannot find a solution the next tool that zoom has is an entire system with calculations, staffing, um, that enables and powers this like chat bot. And what was really interesting for me is I didn't realize how much work went into this stuff. And so it's like smart scheduling, It ha and I'm gonna put a screenshot into this video replay, um, but it has like smart scheduling, it allowed for them to kind of collect data and then track how likely is a person to um, have their issue escalated based on the words that they're using in the chat, based on you know things that they're clicking on the website, like pages that they're going through. And then that will allow organizations especially as like you know organizations get larger to then properly staff their team to say okay we need x amount of people on chat support because we estimate based on this type of the day this time of the year you know we usually see a spike in this way so the data collection part of it was super cool to me which they you know show all uh the the folks to all of the data um so you know if you have a, an account like that they'll show you all of your data so you can make smarter decisions so that was super interesting um and then just the fact that they had this like i'm thinking of zoom right when we think of zoom we think meetings webinars virtual events but they have this whole robust chatbot system including ai in it so i was just like oh my god so those that was like you know two things so the chatbot existing and then the solution behind it to power the scheduling and making better staffing decisions and the data collection um, behind it so those two things were really impressive to me um, the next thing that i saw was super cool is this tool called work vivo that was recently acquired by zoom and the best way to describe it, right? I hope the Zoom folks are not gonna get mad. To me, it's like a Zoom version of Slack. <laughs> um, and I'm sorry if I'm downplaying playing it, but it has it's a lot of benefits because the way that it integrates with the Zoom tool, because Zoom, the, how they envision themselves now is like a complete solution suite to help um, businesses and um, employees be more productive so that way they're not spending time like a, a lot of the time on like, transferring documents or going back and forth on materials. So if you're already having the Zoom meeting and then the WorkVivo platform is already integrated, your AI companion will shoot your meeting notes into that platform. If you need to search for docs while on the meeting, it'll be embedded right into Zoom. Um, right now, there are solutions that connect Zoom with Slack and other how can I say this, internal team communication channels, but you're using third-party integrations, or it may not be as seamless. But when the product that you're using is also made by the, the so when the integration and the product is made by the same company, it makes it a lot smoother. Like that's just a fact because let me not say that's a fact. I, I, I actually just thought of some solutions that I would I was I was wondering like you know it's made by the same company but it is completely different. They do not talk to each other. So let me say it this way: 
the way Zoom has formatted the tools that they're creating allows for the different tools and solutions to speak to each other. Because if your tools are not speaking to each other, you are in trouble. And so we use third party tools like Zapier. Um, there's a couple other ones, but Zapier is the one that I think is most popular to connect tools that don't speak to each other. And that's what we call it integration, right? And so what Zoom is doing is saying that, hey, it's not just an integration, like this is us, we made it work and we made it so that it fits perfectly together. And it's not like a makeshift, like, oh, let's try to connect it. So that's pretty cool in my opinion. The next thing that I saw that really excited me was AMC and Zoom has a partnership right what will what would what does zoom and the movie theaters have to do with each other hear me out because I got real excited like I love going to the movies AMC is one of my um, favorite movie uh, theaters to go to and they've improved so much over the years so I'm really proud of them um, but what really excited me and the way they explained it and even during zoomtopia how they did it so I'm getting really excited so let me calm down First, how they explain it, how they had it active in Zoomtopia. So during Zoomtopia, so you have people attending virtually, right? So folks like me behind their computer, wherever they're located. Then they had folks in person. I think it was either in San Francisco, San Diego, San something, it was in California. So that was the second way people participated. Then the third way is that they had, um, satellite setups right so that's what they call the remote satellite setups where the movie theater so the amc theaters had people in it and they were interacting as like a mini version of a live setup uh, for for the live setup so that way people got that personal one-to-one -one connection from the in-person experience but did not have to fly all the way over to the city or the state where the event is happening and i definitely see this is the future right we had a phase where everyone was talking about like hybrid events but hybrid events that term kind of went away because it's just events and the way we live is hybrid right we all work most people work from home and then in person or even if you don't work you know from home there are ways that you work at home so you or from wherever device you wherever your laptop is wherever your computer wherever your setup is and so we have to be able to understand how to maneuver the technology so that way it's accessible for people that cannot be there physically one-to-one -one on the ground but they still get the impact across the country across the globe so that was pretty cool how they did that with amc and of course, it's gonna cost some dollars. Um, so my, my fellow small business owners, we're not there yet, I know I'm not, but um, if you are a more medium or larger size company, um, definitely something to check out. I'm gonna leave the link below in the uh, description for this video, but AMC is integrating with a bunch of different, Zoom is integrated with a bunch of different AMC theaters, and so you can have a really robust experience while um, engaging multiple people from your company, multiple clients at the same time in different locations using this powerful tool. So take advantage of that um the next thing um that i want to talk about um it's a i think i'm at number four or five i don't know but the final thing i want to talk about that really blew me away at um the zoomtopia conference was how oh two things actually um so the first thing i'm gonna talk about is the physical space so as we know a lot of um office spaces because they're offering hybrid right you can work in person or you can work a couple days online the office spaces may not be getting used or maybe you could work full time online right? people aren't using the office spaces as much. So having a dedicated desk that is for you is not as cost efficient, right? As business owners, we have to be able to serve our employees while also being smart around our pricing. And so what Zoom has done is they created a tool that allows you to kind of turn your regular office space into like a co-working space so if folks are familiar with co-working spaces you could pop in just grab a seat maybe book a room book a desk for the day and do what you have to do so what zoom does is that it does that for your own office space so it'll identify different areas so let's say you have 10 cubicles and two conference rooms um your team can then book online like hey i'm going to come into the office this day i'm going to be in cubicle one and then it'll actually identify on like a little cool map i'm going to include a screenshot because i was screenshotting all day i'm going to include a screenshot and it'll show you that you know today mary and joe is in the office and let's say they wanted to have a meeting with tom and sally right so keep that example in mind. I know it's a lot of names. Mary and Joe, they're in the office. Tom and Sally, they're online. And so Mary and Joe could see each other that see each other physically, but they could also know in advance, like Mary's in conference uh, cubicle one, Joe is in cubicle seven. And they could then go to the conference room, right? They book the conference room and they're gonna have a meeting with 
um, I, I got the name Sally and Tom. Sally and Tom are online. So now we have four individuals. Two are in person, two are online. So regularly what happens? The two people in person, they get inside of the room, the conference room, they set up the Zoom. Most conference rooms have the cameras, all good, fun. And then the two people that are online, they end up also in the Zoom. So right now you have three boxes in the Zoom. That's how it normally works. So you have the two people that are in person in one box, then the two people that, the one person that's online and then another person online. But what this new Zoom um, AI tool does is that it will create an individual box for everyone that the, the camera picks up in person. Hear me out. This is crazy. Like this, I was like, oh snap, this is crazy. So it'll look when you're looking at the screen, you will see four boxes instead of the three because the people that are in person, so those two people, they get their own individual box and similar to as if they had just joined the, the, the Zoom from their individual computers because they wanna amplify the experience. So when you're watching one box with multiple people in it, you're not sure who to pay attention to, right? A lot is going on. Audio might be an issue, so there's a lot of, things happening and so this new ai tool that they have allows people that are in person to be separated into their own individual screens and you can rename them and then the people that are participating online so it kind of allows people to have a shared experience um, and not feel like okay yeah there's like five people in person and i'm just like the one person online right it it makes it more interactive because how we see these things does impact our quality of work, how we engage, how we perform, which are super important to the success of the business and the success of the employee. Um, so that's another conversation for another time, but I really enjoyed attending Zoomtopia 2023. I believe they're gonna have the replays available. I don't know for sure, but I did enjoy my time watching the new features available by Zoom. Um, as always, go ahead and like and subscribe to our channel. We create content to help business owners grow. We love integrating technologies, reviewing them, and creating and working with you all to create solutions for your own businesses. Um, head on over to gsdsolutionsinc.com if you have any questions or if you want to work with us. But until next time, thank you so much for watching this video, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.